Imagine a world where everyone expresses their thoughts loudly and confidently, where silence rarely finds a place, and where interaction and engagement are the norm. Would this be a utopia or a cacophony of voices competing for attention? This is the world of extroverts, a world where energy is derived from social interaction and external stimuli. But what happens when an extrovert teacher enters an extrovert school? Do the dynamics change, or do they remain the same? Consider the case of Mr. Johnson, a high school English teacher who is, by all means, an extrovert. He thrives in social situations, enjoys being the center of attention, and loves to engage his students in lively discussions. When he was transferred to Sunshine High, known for its extrovert student body, it was like throwing a fish into a sea. Instead of being overwhelmed, Mr. Johnson used his outgoing personality to his advantage. He introduced interactive teaching methods that encourage students to participate actively in class. Debates, group projects, and role plays became the norm in his English class. His teaching methods didn't just involve imparting knowledge but also stimulated students to think critically and express their thoughts openly. Mr. Johnson's teaching approach is an excellent example of how extrovert teaching methods can work in an extrovert environment. His methods are based on three key principles. Firstly, he believes in the power of group work. Extroverts thrive in social situations, and group work provides the perfect platform for them to learn and grow. It fosters collaboration, improves communication skills, and encourages students to learn from each other. Secondly, he emphasizes active learning. Extroverts learn better by doing rather than listening. Hence, Mr. Johnson incorporates activities like role plays, presentations, and debates in his curriculum. These activities not only make learning fun, but also help students understand the subject matter deeply. Lastly, he encourages open communication. Extroverts are natural talkers and love to express their thoughts and ideas. Mr. Johnson promotes open communication in his class by creating a safe and supportive environment where every opinion is respected. To summarize, extrovert teaching methods are all about fostering a dynamic, interactive, and open learning environment. They leverage the natural tendencies of extroverts to engage, communicate, and learn from social situations. In an extrovert school like Sunshine High, these methods can create a lively and engaging learning experience. But remember, the success of these methods depends largely on the teacher's ability to manage the energy and enthusiasm of the extrovert students without letting the classroom turn into a chaotic place. And as we've seen in Mr. Johnson's case, this is not just a possibility, but a reality.